Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be coming at you guys with an awesome card hunting vlog here, my fourth ever one, and we have a flea market, card shop, CBS, Rite Aid, and more. Gonna be a big vlog. Just wanna wish you guys happy holidays and Merry Christmas because this is gonna be coming out on Christmas. There is the future to be Islanders Arena. And first stop here, CBS. Um, and didn't score here at CBS, but nothing really much. So next stop, Rite Aid. Same thing here, only see teeny mates, some mystery boxes, nothing really much, some pop dolls or whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. And you see the empty racks, some more of those color rush figures, and NBA multi pack was empty. Next stop, I went to Dollar Tree, really haven't found much of anything. All you saw was some Fortnite uh, sticker cards, that was it. And then I went to a card shop, Card Shack Sports Cards and Memorabilia, and went in there. They had a bunch of boxes and um, some single cards, but their prices were crazy, crazy, crazy prices, guys. So it uh, wasn't, I mean, you can see right there, a LeBron rookie for like 200, some crazy prices. Bought one of their grab bags, and sorry for the bad filming here, but it was, I opened it, and oh man, this was a dollar again, but still for a dollar. Thought I would get maybe something solid, um, and Got some 90s common junk base, and a Ken Griffey Jr. was the best card. Next stop was a CBS. That was just really bad. And, wow, I did find some absolute packs there. There's a couple of jumbo boxes, but never knew CBS had some absolute packs. Um, man, and there were six of them there. So, um, you guys stay tuned to the recap. I see what I got. And there's also some Pokemon stuff, repacks. And went to another CBS. It was actually pretty close by, so... Figured to stop in, see if they had any cards. And they did have one of those older Fairfield Jumbo boxes. And a couple of these Pokemon um, tins and a bunch of those 80-card uh, Jumbo boxes. So that was pretty much all they had there. And then I went to a flea market here. Um, and it was pretty cool because usually you don't get to stop at flea markets too much. And they had a ton of these older baseball boxes. And as you can see, I'm opening up one. To show you guys, they're all pretty. A lot of them have sealed packs inside them, so that was really cool find there. Also, going to give you a little bit of a tour of the flea market. Um, they had some other stuff, Mets memorabilia, and here was a weird <laughs> find of Donovan McNabb bobbleheads. Um, that was super duper weird. I'm not gonna lie, Donovan McNabb um, <laughs> bob bobbleheads. Uh, and then here's a Jets autograph number 51. If you guys know who he is, let me know. Um, I have no clue who number 51 is, but on the Jets, Mets. And then there's some of those sets back there. Some Red Sox, um, some more memorabilia here. Uh, Islanders puck um, display there. So next stop was a Rite Aid. That was pretty cool from the flea market. And again, struck out another Rite Aid. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this vlog. I mean, some cool finds here. Got some Pokemon also there. Went to Walgreens and did find something. But nothing big. Again, the brand new Prime Packs, two of those, some Pokemon. I try to show some Pokemon just in case you guys collect Pokemon. Some of my subscribers out there may. Um, and if you if you know it's any good, let me know. And there, I'm showing the Prime Packs at the Strata Pack and at Donruss. There was really nothing there. Um, again, they're $9 for just two packs. I didn't think it was worth it. Um, and I went to another Walgreens here. And this one... Not always going to score at Walgreens, but all I saw was some Pokemon. Just pretty much all empty and wiped out um, around the holidays. So really nothing much there. There's just some of those Pokemon uh, repacks or whatever you want to call them. Prime packed. Everything was. And then went to Tim Hortons. It was solid. So there you guys have it. Stay tuned for the recap. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Just want to say like and subscribe, guys. Appreciate all you guys' support. Stay tuned for some more vlogs to come. Just going to try to keep on pumping them out. Trying to do it every week um, where I make a vlog. Thought that was a pretty fun vlog there. Um, vlog there. And guys saw some good card finds there. Rite Aid, really nothing much. I don't even think I found a single packet Rite Aid. Walgreens did go to a couple there. As you saw, um, found two prime packs, one football. And the football I don't really like, or the nor the um, baseball now because they only have two packs inside. And um, you guys try. I think I tried to show the um, the the side of them, 
they really don't have great packs. Um, I think it was like Archives and 2020, which is not the best. I think it was just a single pack. And there was a Donruss Hobby Pack 2015. Then the other pack just had a Strata um, Hobby Pack, which is nothing really much. Not worth um, the retail price of $9 for those Prime Packs. So again, going to always pretty much pass up them unless I do find something good. But you did also see some CBS, which I did find some of these absolute um, value packs, football packs. Um, you also saw a couple of jumbo boxes I did find at CBS, which is kind of surprising. CBS does sell sports cards now. That does confirm it. Um, and they may have fat packs. So definitely, guys, if you guys are around CBS, or there's a bunch of CBSs around here. So going to be checking CBS a little bit more often. Did only pick up one because they were $8.29. And also ended up going to a card shop. Uh, wasn't the best experience, not going to lie. Um, I'll probably explain it in another video or in this clip if I'm going to add it on. Um, but did did grab two of these um, grab bags. This one was $3 and a dollar grab bag. Ripped one of these dollar grab bags off camera and, man, it didn't look so good. So stay tuned for a video to come with the absolute fat pack and the two grab bags. Or I may insert this in the video. And then also did go to a flea market and there was a bunch of older wax there. So decided to pick up one of these figured, um, one of these 88 boxes figured. Why not? 36 packs, a bunch of stuff there. Um, you never know. Might be a little bit of fun rip or um, probably going to try to sell some of these packs for cheap just to give you guys some good value. Have some more wax. Don't really have too much older baseball stuff. And there was also an 81 pack, 1981 Fleer, a little bit of an older pack. So I'm going to be trying to sell these probably for really cheap. So if you guys are interested, again, let me know down below. I know it's a little bit of an older wax, but just want to have some more variety on the channel. And I know there's some old timers out there. So there you guys have it. I'd say a pretty successful um, hunting vlog there. Um, found a bunch of those absolute packs. Wasn't really too high on them, so only picked up one because again they're 829 that's the only thing about um Rite Aid and what well, are right yeah or CBS my bad um is their stuff is way more expensive than um a CBS or, or uh my bad uh Rite Aid or Walgreens um their fat pack so wasn't too high but you will see this in this this um you'll see it in another clip there you guys have it not sure if this clip is going to be added on or brand new video um, to my card hunting vlog, or brand new video, but there you guys have it. We do have a 2020 Absolute Football Fat Pack with 20 cards, which I did find at CBS. I um, was pretty excited to find one of these, but they are $8.29, which after tax is about $9. So not the best um, value, I'd say. Um, not awesome with that, but still pretty cool to find something. There was actually six packs there. Just only picked up one because of that price. And then we did find a couple of these grab bags. So a couple of these grab bags. I uh, was pretty hyped up about these to find uh, grab bags just to rip them. Make some good content for you guys to see what are in these mystery grab bags. Went to the card shop. Eh, I would say it wasn't the best experience. I tried to in insert maybe some clips into the vlog. I'm not sure um, if I'm going to, but I might um, just depending on what I see, if it's good content or not, but yeah, um, this was actually $3, but the card shop wasn't the best, I would say, a lot of overpriced wax, there's like a Donner's blaster, like just one of those regular Donner's blasters for like $55, I was like, some of the prices were really crazy, um, in there, so wasn't a big fan of it, I can't say anything terrible about them, but it wasn't the best experience also in there, so, eh, it was a fun Fun, I guess, fun to pick up a couple of these. Did rip one of these off camera, and they weren't too good. But let's get into these grab bags, see if there's anything good. Again, um, they had some of these grab bags figured. Why not pick up one of these? And it looks like we have some hockey. Rod Gilbert, Lanny McDonald. Again, this was a dollar grab bag, mystery grab bag here. Serge Savard. And, yeah, that's absolute garbage. So, for a dollar, you get five cards of junk. I mean... Not great for five dollars of grab bag, but again, you take the gamble. Um, again, wasn't a big fan of that card shop. This is supposed to have one five dollar card inside of here, so let's see what they think 
is a five dollar card this was actually three dollars so let's see what we get we got a jared goff uh ryan strome and who's that carl malone okay shaquille o'neal patrick ewing nice new york card there uh ruben sierra or lend or or let Orlando Pena. We got uh, Rod Langway, Charlie Smith, Ed Herman, Reggie White. Cool looking card there. Andrew McCutcheon and Bob Thornton. Nah, that was absolute garbage there. So, uh, I'm not, I, you know what? It wasn't, it just wasn't worth the $3, though. Patrick Ewing Hall of Fame. I was like, I'm a little bit disappointed with that card shop. Not going to lie. Man, that's why I gotta stay, stay loyal with only a couple of card shops, really. Cause, man, that's why you got you guys gotta be loyal to only a couple of card shops. Um, don't really have too many card shops in this area. But now we're gonna get into this absolute fat pack. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Um, man, hoping to pull a nice rookie here. Hopefully, we do get a nice rookie. So here we go. Start off with a uh, Chris Godwin. Tyreek Hill, make up for those bad grab, grab bags. We got a nice Gronk, that's pretty cool. Um, Joey Bosa, okay, some greens here. Um, we got CJ Mosley, Devontae Adams, Willie Gay is backwards, that is a green. Unsung Heroes of Tyler Higby, Russell Wilson, oh, the GOAT, Ben DiNucci. People call him the GOAT, but because uh, he started, he was a seventh round pick, which is kind of crazy. He started for the Cowboys this year, but. Played pretty garbage, so that's cool. Here's a nice rookie. Justin Jefferson, Darnell Taylor, Neville Gallimore, Isaiah Simmons, Willie Gay again, Jeff Okuda, and nice C.J. Henderson rookie. So not a bad fat pack there. Um, Justin Jefferson's a good rookie. Nothing crazy, though. No Herbert, no Tua. Um, but, yeah, I, I, overall, not great vibes at that card shop. Those grab bags, really, really nothing much. Um, nothing doing. And a little bit disappointed with that, but you know what? It just is what it is. It was fun to try to see um, what was there. But if this was added on, which I don't believe so, I'm going to add it on because it's just pretty long. But, yeah, so there you guys have it. A uh, little fun. May may actually add it on. I don't know, though. But a little fun hunting vlog there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, either way, this was an add-on. If I did not add it on to the vlog, either way, it's another video. But hope you guys enjoyed the video if it, if it is. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Kind of did strike out there um, with the grab bags and that fat pack. But it, it's all good. Um, fun little rip there. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Till then, I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Peace out and be sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Peace out.